what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so we got another install video on the 2023 yamaha uh this one i'm pretty excited about so what we have here is we have a breather box a parking brake delete ais delete or block off kit uh a speed sensor block off kit and then this is just a bracket this is all from 38 motorsports and i tell you what this is some of the best uh packaging i've ever gotten this is this is super cool i've never seen anything like this before um like first impressions are 10 out of 10 if not higher like that's awesome i love how they package their stuff uh so i don't know how stuff's gonna be i've heard really good things about them and i'm telling you right now first impressions great so we're gonna hit the stuff installed and then in the next video i'm very excited so make sure you guys check out the next video because this one we're going to do some riding in. But this has finally showed up. And I'm not going to show it. Watch the next video because we got to put this stuff on. And then we put the exhaust on and ride it. So in that video we're going to throw the exhaust on, exhaust on and we're finally going to ride this thing. I am so pumped. It's literally like 9.30 at night. I have just had a hell of a week. Spent all day working on the truck and... I'm currently in pajamas because <laughs> we're just going to go to bed, but we're going to put this stuff on so we can get you guys a video of this thing riding tomorrow because I'm so pumped. So let's get into the video. All right, we're going to start by taking all the plastics off. Plastics are off. So once you get your plastics off, you're going to also remove the fuel tank and then you're going to remo remove this plastic tray. So to remove the plastic tray, the two little bungs, whatever you want to call these, that the gas tank takes their hooks on to remove both bolts there under here you'll have this thing here and then this tray will actually sit down in here farther but you remove a bolt here and on the other side from the other side take them off and then you get a little finagling to get this out and then there's a actually a hose as you can see that hooks onto there it's for i think for the gas drain so if the gas tank were to leak or whatever i think it goes in here and then runs out and underneath so i think that's what that's for but i'm not 100 percent we're first going to start with the ais delete and how this goes on this little plate will literally go right here where these two bolts are this plug will go right where this is this is this is bolted onto the bottom of the tray for underneath the gas tank is bolted on the bottom so you take all this plumbing off there's a plug in right here that dummy plug will plug into this you will remove all of this and then since we're doing the breather box we're also removing all this so all this extra plumbing all these extra hoses that are no longer used will be coming off if you're not doing the breather box you will not be removing these hoses and extra lines here because this will go on to your existing box on your stock intake. I didn't bolt this back on mine because I put a fuel customs on and I didn't want this. So I ordered the breather box to delete the factory one. And then it deletes all this unnecessary plumbing. So we're going to start by removing all of these, of these tubes. So the heater kicked on on me, but it's all right. So this is the plumbing. This is part of the AI, uh, AIS delete. This tube here is the old breather tube. It goes to the back of the foiler. It goes to that box that's on the stock intake. Since we're not using that, we take this off because we don't need it. Along with this hose that also goes to that same box, we'll be taking this off too because we also do not need this one because this breather box kit will replace that. This is all much junk that you take off. It's like, it's just unreal. There's a little plate right here that you'll have to remove uh, that that's on. It just makes it easier to get at. And then this will also go to the new breather box. So the new breather box will go to here and to here. And then the third hose will just go underneath the atmosphere. So this one will go to the crankcase or to the cylinder head crankcase. And then this one will go underneath, which I'll show you when we're done. You can order this bracket. Here's a part number if you want to pause. That will retain this bracket. Since you're removing this for the AIS delete, you will no longer have this bracket, bracket which holds these lines right here. So this bracket uh, retains this hanger. 
So order that part number. This stuff will all be down in the description for you guys. So now we're gonna take the block off plate. We're gonna put it here with this little gasket and we're gonna be using the same bolt. And then we're gonna put this on top of the plate like this so that we keep the bracket. So I'm gonna put this on quick and then I'll show you how I did it. I also wanna note if you guys do keep the stock intake, this does come with a little rubber plug in this kit that'll go on the stock intake like this instead of so for, for when you delete the AIS because um, you will no longer have that hose. So then you'll block, plug this, but we don't need it since we have fuel customs. AIS delete is on. Like I said, all it is is this plate. You use the two existing bolts that were in it. And if you opt in for this bracket, you do not have to, but I recommend it just because it holds this stuff nicely. And then I zip tied this to here so that these don't flop around. Mainly I just did it so then the stuff doesn't flop around, looks cleaner, um, and it just retains this. Otherwise that's it. And then, like I said, if you have the stock intake, you'll plug this. So we don't have the stock intake, so we don't have to plug that. So now we're gonna move on and do the breather box. I will tell you what, this thing is really nice and I think it's well worth the $100. So we're gonna install this. This will bolt on where this does, where your little, I can't think of what it's called. My mind's not working, but we're gonna remove this and then we're gonna bolt this on. Uh, it does recommend to put the hoses on first and they do have all the instructions for all this stuff on their website. This breather box is a little bit tight to get in here. You just kind of work it way down in there. The top front one, longest hose. This will go down underneath while we're out this last. Top one on the back goes to the crankcase. The lower one, and that gets the short hose. The lower one goes down to the side of your motor. And did I say crankcase? I meant the head. The medium length one goes down to the side of your crankcase and then I used all these little ones off the old plumbing for all these uh, crimps and then I threw a zip tie on here which I'm going to pull back a little bit but then use existing bolts that came off of here and then you put this back on and then it's nice and hidden out of the way so we're going to do that and then we're going to route this hose and I'll show you where that goes so once you get that bolted on you'll run this down and just kind of snake it down on the inside of the frame here i did throw a zip tie around it right here to help hold it and then it ends up just kind of popping out right there underneath the engine and i threw a little zip tie around it i don't know how long it's going to stay on there but it just kind of helps hold it down because the hose kind of curls now we're going to move on to the uh, speed sensor block off i don't really know understand why they do this but it was something that was on their website and they they had it on there why they deleted it, but i don't remember um because i ordered it a while ago but it's that little guy right here so we're gonna take that one allen off follow the plug unplug it and then we'll use the dummy plug in the connector and then this little guy will go where the speed sensor goes it is out of there you might have to wiggle it out they say you might need a pliers too mine came out somewhat easy uh just one allen you'll save this allen because you'll reuse that So then we'll take the new plug that they supply, put the o-ring on it, put a little oil on it so that it don't rip. And then the existing hole right here, we'll put the uh, plug. Just like that. Put the Allen in and that's done. And then the plug, there's this little cover Oops, this little cover will be right here. Remove that and then the plug is right behind it. And then you'll use this little dummy plug that they give you. And then this will click back right on, but I'm gonna probably have to use two hands to do this. All right, now that we have everything else done, we're gonna move on to the rear parking brake delete. The reason we delete these is because realistically, they just, they just don't work real well. I mean, this foiler doesn't even have an hour on it. And when I lock this, I can already still roll it and I'm not pushing real hard I'm just pushing on my legs because I don't have a real good way to push it with one hand and it already just still moves so to do this you just take these two bolts off and then we'll remove the whole cable 
We'll also take this bolt off and this bolt off. Or no, these two right here. And then this whole thing will come off and then we'll replace that with this little block off plate. Um, put a tiny bit of grease on here to help hold this in here. And then they'll use these bolts instead of the ones that are on there. So I'm gonna remove these and I'm gonna start removing everything. And I'll probably show you when it's done because quite honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. Two bolts, two bolt, remove the cable, two bolts, a plate and back on. So we're gonna do that quick. I have it removed up here. It's just kind of hanging down there. I did put the two bolts back in just to make it look a little nicer so there wasn't two empty holes. And then down here, I removed it like that. And then I have this, I did put a little dab of grease on. And then this will just be put on like that. I am gonna have to use two hands to install this. And the block off plate is on there. That looks so good. I like how they recessed the the bolts like that so that's done so we're gonna figure out i think i'm gonna take it off on this end and feed it from this end through just because it's smaller so i'm gonna unhook this here and then try to feed it through there is the pile of junk of stuff that we took off of this thing the cable was easiest to take off up here for the handle you just remove these two bolts and then you can pull the cable out of it and then i just put it back together it is easiest to pull it out the back because the end is the smallest and just kind of work your way out. Um, I did find out that I didn't realize that big cable that goes in this new bracket that we put on was actually for the parking brake, but it was actually a little bit better because then we can move these cables on the inside of this and I zip tie it so they don't bounce. And that actually makes that a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And then you could remove some of these brackets if you wanted, like the one right here, because now it is no longer used, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. This one still holds that and then cleans up that a lot. Yeah, we took a lot of junk off this. The motor is so much more room. Now I got nice black holes. You cannot put this bracket back on. Uh, you can, if, probably if you trimmed it, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Cleans this all up nice and just gets rid of all the extra junk. This is for your tray. So don't ask me in the comments. That's, that's what that's for. Um, this is just zip tied here. Uh, so we just got to put the tray back in, put the fuel tank back on, put everything back together, and that is done. So that is all there is to it. Uh, I'll put the plastics back on and show you what it looks like all put back together. Oh, that speed sensor looks good sitting in there. 38 motors, boards. And look at it, how much more room there is. Not so much junk in there. <clears throat> oh yeah, this stuff all looks so much better. The breather box is nice and hidden down in there. So you don't see all the ugly. So much more room. Oh, that looks different. Oh, what is that? Oh, you're gonna have to watch the next video if you wanna hear what it sounds like. <laughs> the exhaust is on, man. She's ready to rip tomorrow. Be sure to check out the next video because we're finally gonna hear how that sounds. Bars look so much cleaner with all that junk on there. I can't wait to get the aftermarket throttle setup I'm gonna put on here so I can get rid of this being janky, but it works for now. Man, this thing has come a long ways already. Oh, it's looking so much better. Can't wait to get some Nerf bars and stuff on it eventually, but that'll be a summer thing. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So if you guys liked the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Definitely check out the next video. Turn on them post notifications because you're gonna wanna hear this R5 Rossi or exhaust because it sounds freaking wicked. See you guys next one. Peace.